I'm gonna make jambalaya. Please hook up the green and the red bell pepper small dice. So jambalaya is one of, to me, one of the three main dishes in New Orleans. There's gumbo, etouffee, and jambalaya. Mm -hmm. So the differences between the two, or the three, are so like narrow and small. Um, I would say gumbo is served over rice, okay. right? And can be sausage, seafood. Etouffee, again, served over rice, but usually just seafood. Okay. And then what I truly love about uh, jambalaya is it's served with the rice in it. There it so is. So the rice cooks in it, it gets that flavor. Now, there are also some things that I kind of break the rules on here, uh, but that's the great thing about cooking. So I'm starting my jambalaya in this big Dutch oven here, and I had some oil down, and this is andouille sausage, so mm. iconic oh. for New Orleans, spicy, smoky. I just cut it down to rounds, got some fat from it, and then add a little bit more fat when I pull them out um, to put them on the plate with a slotted spoon. And then in, I just put in some dark meat chicken, so some thighs with the bones removed and cut down to chunks. My flavoring is just a little bit of Creole seasoning or Cajun seasoning, and that just goes into the pot. We're not trying to cook anything completely through. We just want to let it hang out and sear, so turn everything up really, really high and just let that hang and become one with the seasoning. One with the seasoning. Yeah, yeah. Give that you can also a add in the red chili flakes so they can bloom as well. Now, over here with what's happening, we've all heard about the mirepoix. We know the Trinity in New Orleans, which is the base for a lot of their dishes, is uh, white onion, celery, and green bell pepper. But for jambalaya, red bell pepper is also super delicious. I've got some thyme here that I just chopped down very nicely, and I'm gonna get in on my celery. Sunny, tell me about the seasoning you put in there. It smells so good. It's just a Cajun or a Creole seasoning. You can find it in the uh, seasoning aisle. It's gonna have paprika, garlic, um, onion powder, some thyme. Um, it's just really, really salty as well, so you have to watch your salt content. All right, so chicken out, andouille sausage out. I'm gonna start just really flavoring things up. We're gonna go in with our Trinity, start with our onions. I'll take that. Oh, there she goes. Our bell pepper. Very serious okay, over so there. Okay, so chef, come on with it. Come on, she Alex. In the we zone. Chef, we chef. In the zone. Celery going in. Compost. Compost it. Compost. I'm gonna give that a little toot when you put it in there. Then I'm gonna beware, come in Katie. with my thyme. Okay, and then move this around with a nice pinch of salt, remembering that Creole seasoning has salt already. A little bit of help goes in. I mean, how could this not be good? Right? right? Oh, Sausage, man. Let chicken. me tell you something. I moved to New Orleans because of the food. Yeah. That's it? Yeah, that's it. So you see how the pot shut up a little bit? And that's going to cook some. And as everything gets nice and tender, I'm going to add in some crushed tomato. That's traditional. Okay. You could crush them yourself if you like as well. But usually, filet powder is used in gumbo. Yeah. But I love it in jambalaya. Okay. You put filet powder I in your jambalaya? Do, I do, I do. Oh, my God. Um, it's floral, it's light. It also has a little bit of a thickening agent, yeah. uh, which is going to help. But we don't really need, need, need it because the rice and the starch from the rice is going to help. What is filet powder? Up. So filet powder is from the sassafras plant, yep. right? And they just dry it and they grind it up. And if you've ever smelled a sassafras, it's just, it's got a really light flavor. It's got a light scent, kind of like sumac vibes. All right, so obviously you see, this is gonna cook down a bit. Mm. And when it's cooked down a bit, it's gonna look like this. Now take a look at that. Deep, rich red oh. colors. Mm. Just, I mean, Ooh. the waft is everything. And now we're gonna start adding in the liquid. This is chicken stock base. Wow. You can add chicken stock if you like, but I just love the I'm base. Let me get a spoon. It stays in my fridge. They've got, this company has like roasted garlic, seafood got base, now, it's got yeah. beef base, yeah, yeah. So get that in there. Now, remember, this is also pretty salty. You gotta be careful. All right, so you've gotta add you gotta a good amount of water to that. You gotta be careful. Okay. By the way, the pot shut up, and so did we, as yes. soon as you opened yeah. it. Yeah, I know, I got hit Look at that, how rich it it's like is. Like a sofrito kind of thing going yeah. on there, right? Yeah, I mean, this is a dish, I mean, everyone knows Creole food is uh, an amalgamation of like, French, and Spanish, and African, and so you can say to yourself, this is kind of like um, paella vibes, but in a Dutch Definitely. oven. So then we're gonna add oh, our yeah. meat back oh, in. Oh, with all that grease. Oh, that back in. Yeah, get, get on, on in there. Right there. 
Yeah. And then some rice. You can use long grain, short grain, whatever you, you like. you wash your rice, Sunny? Um, not for this, because you do want that starch to hang Got out. It. So yeah, put it all in there, because it really does impart a little bit of thickening to our jambalaya. Oh. oh, come on Oh, now. look at that. Oh, now, at the very end, I like to add in my shrimp. OK. And then just give it a nice stir and let the heat of the pot, you could turn the pot off by now. Let what the type heat of shrimp are those? Large, like so large. maybe 20, up? 25. No, I leave them whole. Oh, wow. And then I just cover it back up after I hit it with a nice shake of hot sauce. Oh, um, there you go. Now, Louisiana hot sauce. There is a quintessential Louisiana brand. I'm not using that now. I'm using a Texas brand. Oh. A little bit of reverse. homage to Texas, which took on a lot of Louisianans after they had a hurricane. They all traveled on I-10 and found a new home. And then I'm just going to close this back up and let the ambient heat cook our God shrimp. Blood. Give it a nice last stir and get it into our bowl. And then right at the very end, I still love to add a little bit of filet powder. Oh, there, filet powder. Yep. Some is this a portion? Scallions. Yeah, that's this is a sunny <laughs> portion. Sorry. <laughs> that's an entire portion. Jeez. You got to do the taste. Look at this beautiful chicken. Oh, look at him eating it up. Look at this guy. Mm. <laughs> well, it's spicy. In the very best way, mm. stick to your ribs. In the very best way. Yeah. Because it's so comforting. Mm. It's warming. The spice is perfect. And I'm stunned at how perfect the chicken's cooked. Sunny, this is outstanding.